Good afternoon, everybody. Keith here. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Hopping on today because, uh, of course, always people seem to be confused on who their authority is. Whether it's the birth certificate, social security number, the name, the court, the United States, the state, whoever. Everybody seems to think that somebody else has authority. And somebody else has the ability to make a legal determination to discern who that authority is. And that legal determination... Are you trying to make a legal determination? Are you trying to practice law? Um, another one of those things that people get upset about, and they, they, they get crushed on the concept of, oh, I don't want to get caught practicing law without a license. I can't be making legal determinations. I can't be giving legal advice. Fuck you. I'm going to give you some legal advice. I am going to give legal advice. See, there's always a thing that comes first in line, first in time. First in time, first in line. There's something first, there's something supplemental, there's something greater than this legal bullshit. So when you make a legal determination, um, make, it, make it by presenting what is supplemental. And I come about this this video today because I, I watch these First Amendment auditors and all these different uh, interactions with police and videos of uh, police uh, asserting their authority that they don't have. So, what is it? What is it that allows us to make a legal determination? You know, when it comes to that practicing law without a license, they say you can't give legal advice, otherwise you, you're practicing law without a license. Yet there's not a license. See, the, the bar attorneys are just like the Postal Service. All they've got is certificates hanging on the walls. They don't... Post Service doesn't have a license. Neither does the bar attorney. It's the same thing. Yep, they're operating by force majeure. Yeah. And so when it comes down to all of this legal advice, this practicing law without a license, I mean, who is it? Where, where do you get your authority from? Where do you get your authority and when do you realize what that authority is? Because you certainly don't realize what the authority is in full comprehension when you're seven years old, still trying to develop your own character. <clears throat> I didn't realize fully until here, not in the, two, till the past few years or so. And what it is, is there's a process in this life, in this societal life, where there are certain things that are, that are needed to be met to help provide some kind of sense of security for the, for, the, for the people in that society. One of those things is a patrol unit. Pa-troll unit. <laughs> Nothing but a, but a bunch of fucking trolls. I choose, my, I choose what I say specifically, people. Please pay attention. And so what we have is these patrol units, most oftentimes, people that aren't even familiar with the area they're in because they come from a different neighborhood. They have a different patronage to begin with. And then they walk up to you 23 years old with some kind of six, six months in some kind of police academy that is not an academy, but a force training center teaching them how to use tactical force tactics tactical put s on the front of that and you get statistical statical static 
think about this stuff, people. Um, because that's what tactics are. Tactics are a means of arresting. You use tactics to make something static. Or at least slow it down to your pace or speed it up to your pa your pace so that they will fall and fumble. Whatever it is, it's for it, it, those tactics are for their intents. And so we have these 23-year-old guys running around trying to tell a 50-year-old man what to do. Where does he get his legal determination? If he's only been around 23 years, less than half as long as I've been around. See, and this is the point where I want to point people out. You go ahead and take a look at that criminal record all you want. It's going to have 93 cases on the Iowa dockets alone, not including Illinois, Wyoming, Nebraska, anywhere else. It's not going to have, you, you go to Iowa, it's 93 cases in Iowa alone. Now, that would present some kind of a ridiculous record that I'm some kind of heinous criminal or something. That I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. Well, the problem with that is, when it comes to making a legal determination... Let me tell you folks out there, especially all of you police officers that are going to start getting thrown under the bus. And you're going to get thrown under the bus by the people that know more than you and not as near as much as people like myself. Because I'm going to go after the people that are training you. And that six months of tactical training that left you without the ability to make a legal determination because you've been trained into an enforcement that you don't have based on a belief that you have to do it because society needs patrol units like you and you're going to do it because you feel all, oh, I'm going to do good for society and at the same time I'm going to make a paycheck and raise my family. Proving your own dual-mindedness. Because if you're going to be a steward to your brothers and sisters, you don't do it for a paycheck. You say, oh no, you don't need to pay me to do that. I'm my brother's keeper already. And that's my legal determination that's my legal advice i suggest everybody start realizing that if you are not your brother's keeper then your brother ain't keeping you and if you start putting this into effect in your life it becomes much quicker and much easier to discern who is not being a brother's keeper. I mean, you should already see it now. This is the abuse that you're going through, but you don't know what to do about it because you think everybody else is supposed to be your brother's keeper, but you don't want to be your brother's keeper. See, that's the true benefit is the knowledge. So when it comes to making a legal determination, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And not, not, they, they aren't destroyed because they don't know what legal is. Which is only part of it, because legal is fiction. Legal has to be written down. And being written down, it has to be one-sided. Versus another side, with a third party, being allowed to make determinations for both parties. How's that for your legal determination? Huh? You like that? Yeah. You, you can't be given legal advice. You're not competent. Well, let's talk about that 23-year-old officer that's got six months of tactical training and ain't spent one day in the closet speaking to his father, which art in heaven, which is what makes him competent to be his brother's keeper to begin with. 
Has he gone through that training? Or has, been, or has he been indoctrinated in the public education system telling us, no, you can't remember the stuff from the old writings. You've got to remember what we're writing today. You've got to remember the story as we write it today. So let's talk about that. You know, because, see, when, when, when an officer is standing there and he's got somebody pulled over, and he's at the car, and somebody's on the sidewalk being his brother's keeper and keeping an eye on everybody. And that officer decides he's not, he doesn't feel safe because he's got somebody standing behind him. It's at that point we got to realize <clears throat> when they try to start enforcing their fear and their tactics and their, their uh, uh, agitation and all of that. We've got to think about their legal determinations as, the, as they've been making them. See, California writes a legal legislated law that says we can't use plastic straws anymore. So everybody quits using plastic straws wrapped in paper wrap and starts using paper straws wrapped in plastic wrap. So therefore, they've made a, a legal determination that is complete insanity. This is a whole legislative body that did this. And the American people sat back, sat back and watched. And I seem to be the only one raising a, a thing about it, you know. And while at the same time, they got rid of the plastic straws and paper wraps to come up with paper straws and plastic wraps. Not one of them mentioned a greater priority of plastics in total and only concentrated on the straws. Didn't mention anything about the lids, um, none of the condiment containers, none of the, nothing. Nothing else was brought into it, just the straws. So when we see people trying to make laws like that, when things were actually, I can't really in, this, in, in that instance say better before, but at least we hadn't spent however many billions or millions or thousands of dollars to have legislators sit on a bench and do fucking nothing. So you got to think about their tactics. So, like I say, this officer thinks that, well, people filming the police is causing his problems, so they want to do a House Bill 2319 through Kavanaugh down in Arizona, and then do the same thing, Senate Bill 1300, while the dumbass doesn't understand the process, he's only supposed to enter into one house, he's got to make a determination of what kind of bill it is first, and then enter it into the correct house. So now we see people backing up um, legislators that will legislate out the plastic straws, and come up with zero solution that are backing the same kind of people like Kavanaugh that will put present present uh, bills to both houses and don't know what the fuck the process is. Proving that they're dual-minded from the beginning. See, our led the, those legislators and people running these offices don't even know what the fuck they're doing or how the process works. Because if you think about it, can you enter a commercial bill into a law without going through the House, which passes the commercial bills? No. So if you're presenting a commercial bill, it's got to go to the House first. If you're presenting a law, it's got to go to the Senate first. Once that House that has authority to pass that law can, can say, okay, we want to do this, then it goes to the other House. If it starts out as a commercial bill, it has to go to the Senate to make sure that the commercial bill isn't violating law. If it's a law, it's got to go to the House to make sure that they can commercialize it under 22 CFR, what is it, 21 CFR 72.11? All crimes are commercial. 
See, Kavanaugh evidently doesn't understand the process, and evidently the entire fucking legislation doesn't understand the process, and nor does Congress, because nobody else is speaking up about this. Even delete laws. The one that brought it to my attention, Kavanaugh presenting a bill in both houses, the exact same bill to both houses from one representative? That isn't how it works. If it's a commercial bill, it's supposed to get presented to the House. So that this is in the Constitution. This is what shows us that they don't understand the Constitution. So while delete laws, I, I love him. He's a great guy, and he does know a lot about the Constitution. But again, I urge you to realize that the Constitution of the United States has a supplemental Constitution, and in that it shows two forms. While the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure says there's one form, that is a falsity. There are two forms, and if you recognize the process, the one form goes through the House, the other form goes through the Senate. If it's a lawful form, it goes through the Senate, and if the Senate decides it's not good, it ain't going to go to the House. It's got to be represented to the Senate. You can't present a bill to both houses and hope one of them passes. People got to quit believing in this stupid shit. So, Let's talk about this. So an officer wants to wants to make legislation uh, um, that people can't film them in public because they don't feel safe when people are behind them when people are behind them. It's not because people are behind them. It's because they're going to get caught because the people behind them have a fucking camera now. <clears throat> so the guy's standing there talking to the First Amendment auditor, and all of a sudden he turns around. Uh-oh. He was lawful when he was facing him, but because the officer turned around, all of a sudden now he's unlawful. This is the kind of shit we're looking at when we pass those kinds of bills, people. Just like the straw, the plastic straw that got run out of the market, but they turned around and replaced it with a paper straw wrapped in plastic. So let's talk about this legal determination. Who really makes that legal determination? Because when we come into laws like that, we, all, we always hear about things like the... When I was 18, they passed the law that raised the age of drinking from 18 to 21. Now, the problem with that is there's a clause in that law in every state that imposes it. It's called the grandfather clause. The old man. See, some 23-year-old punk ain't going to tell me at 55 years of age what I can or can't do, what I can or can't say, where I can go, when to take a shit, nothing. You want to stand there and try to pose that you have territorial jurisdiction because you're here? You better have the motherfucking piece of paper that proves you are liable. Because I don't keep such paperwork. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God. And the Word was God. God is love. And, word, and a man is bound by his Word. And I tell you all the time, I love you people. I do. And just because I love you doesn't mean I have to let you get away with shit. See, I don't care if you love me or not. Exactly, John. Who the fuck has a, has a right to make a legal determination about me if I don't have anything to do with legal, and then if I discuss things in that kind of a realm or perspective, who the fuck are you to say I can't do that because I don't have a license to practice law? I'm not here to destroy your law. I'm not here to practice law. I'm here to fulfill the law. Oh, no man anything, for to love one another is to fulfill the law. I am fulfilling the law. And in that fulfillment, just because I love you doesn't mean I have to be walking on eggshells and treat you with tender kindness. 
I'm sure many of you heard about the Tough Love program, and I'm going to give you some motherfucking tough love. Wake the fuck up! 55 years old, some 23-year-old kid's going to try to tell me what to do. Going to try to tell me I can't film them because they are afraid because I'm behind them? Ain't going to happen. I don't give a fuck what you think. I can prove every last one of you is fucking insane. Legislating plastic straws without even bringing up the greater greater uh, problem. Plastic itself. Well, if we're going to do that, folks, shouldn't we just go to uh, cardboard containers and get, like they did in the 50s? See, we bring about these new laws and stuff. You know, we got this new plastic extrusion process and we can make straws out of, out of plastic that will last longer so people can reuse the straws, but people refuse to reuse the straws because they're just fucking straws. You throw them away. Well, why didn't... Why don't we just go back to the plastic straws and plastic, or paper straws and paper uh, cardboard carry-out containers and everything, you know? We can we can help alleviate restaurant space by going back to the old AW style, you know, Flintstone style. Pull up in your Bushmobile, get your old rack of ribs. <coughs> so when we talk about that grandfather clause, we're talking about who we communicate with and how the language changes. That's the only reason they have a grandfather clause is because something changed in the modern times. This is why I urge everybody to go back. Go back. Go back to the beginning and realize you're a lamb of God. That's who grandfathered you in. Even as a 23-year-old kid, you could realize this. But as a 55-year-old man, I would be able to recognize it in you if we have that meeting of minds that comes from that same grandfather. Know what I mean? So it's very important on how you, how, what, what kind of language you're using and how you communicate it. Because see, language comes in many forms. So when somebody walks up to me and they've got this nice little clown uniform on and I recognize them as a clown, I'm going to call them a clown. You want to come to me in the true nakedness of what is true without a uniform. And do so. See, people, there was a time in my life when, when I walked around with shirts, just like everybody else. But they were all blank. They didn't have all the nice writing on them and stuff. It wasn't until recent years I started buying shirts to let other people know. Because it didn't matter how much I smiled. They didn't see me as a child of God. And they don't. Even with this on, they really don't see as a child of God. Because they don't see themselves as a child of God. They don't see themselves being grandfathered in. They see themselves being written in as, as a legal determination. I'm sick of it. See, you're not even named in the Bible. Everybody that came before us is named in the Bible. You won't find the name Keith in the Bible. Jeremy? You won't find Jeremy in the Bible. It's a derivative of Jeremiah. See, things change. And so when we go back to the beginning, and the beginning was Word, and the Word was God, and Word was God, and God is love, and then you have to use the words of love. And just because you use, you think words of love means tenderness and kindness and ooh, oh, I love you, baby. No, no. Love is showing people what is true, 
My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And if you don't have the knowledge to make a legal determination and you're standing there on the side of the road running your babble mouth trying to get somebody else into your courts, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to say something about it. Because I love the guy in the car and I love the guy trying to affront him. Goes, I'm going to be the mediator. I'm going to say, hey, 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 neither one of you need to be doing what you're doing. First of all, the officer, you don't have any authority. The guy in the car, you need to quit doing what you're doing. You need to correct yourself, too. That's the problem. People coming at each other and don't, neither one of them recognize them, each, and other, each other as their brother's keeper. Neither one of them recognizing each other as brother's keepers. Because somehow they've been legislated into some fucking law. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got to do a name change. Uh-oh. Been telling you it's nothing to do with the name. I was on that track too for a number of years. You can go back and watch my page. I was on that name. I was on that name. I was on that name. It's the number. See, the name is love. It's the number that turns everything around and creates a twisted record. Using die mensch uns. Dual mentality. Multiple mentalities. Multiple personality disorder. Well, get the motherfuckers in order. It doesn't come grandson first and then grandfather. Put the motherfuckers in order. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Not, not person. Some patriotic father where they put the last name first and then your quote, quote, first, second name. See, it tells us in the scripture too. One shall call himself by Jacob and one shall subscribe his hand unto the surname of Israel. This is the name change. If you really want a grandfather clause, that's your grandfather clause. It's, that's the name change. You go back. Let them know you recognize who your grandfather is. And see, back then they didn't have plastic straws. They didn't have paper straws. Matter of fact, a lot of times they just dipped into an old bucket, an old cistern that had very little wine and it didn't have... So they just, Gross. That's why we started religious. It was finger licking good. So I hope everybody starts waking up. You have the right to make legal determinations. You have the right to give legal advice because it tells us, oh, no man, anything for to love one another is to fulfill the law. And if you're not giving legal advice to people that are falling into the legal trap, then maybe you're failing your duty in that love. I really hope people start standing up. We really need to start doing our brothers, being, being our brother's keeper. We really need to stand up to that duty. There ain't not one of us is going to survive if we don't. Man will continue to deplete itself, just like Jose 4, 6, my people. Are, they, we will continue to keep destroying each other if we don't recognize that we are each other's brother's keeper. Like I've said many times, guys, your brothers and sisters are my brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters are yours. Your children are mine. My children are yours. Your parents are mine. My parents are yours. Even if you don't like them, they disown me and they call me a lunatic, they probably do the same to you. But we have to express that tough love and let them know, hey, I'm not going to let you put up. I'm not going to let you 
treat me like that anymore. If you, if you no longer wish to communicate with me in my life, that's fine. I can deal with that. Because I can deal with not having somebody express their legal opinions upon me and tell me that the police are my authority. And they get so upset in their cognitive dissonance that in all of their lives, the people that adopt me tell me, fuck you. No? Fuck you. Tell me I need to change my last name. There you go. It's changed. Fuck you, Littles. Fuck you, Conrarties. Fuck all of you last name motherfuckers. I don't care about that shit anymore. I gave it all up. I quit working. I quit the banking system. I quit signing. I'll not do it anymore. We're not supposed to be subscribing in anything but the surname of Israel. And as long as you keep subscribing in a false name, you're not carrying the word of God. You're not bringing the word of God to the table first. Listen, by the time we get done signing these things, you might know me as Keith Orton a little, but when it comes to that, that document at the end, um, I'm going to subscribe my name. That doesn't say sign. It says subscribe. So my name will be scribed under the Israel. And that's what it's about. Correcting the language. You want to grandfather something in? Grandfather the language and correct the language. Then you can start making those legal determinations. Because the language is that of love. So once you learn the language of love, then you can make that legal determination. Hey, that's not love. Okay? So anyway, I'm done with my rant today. I just wanted to put it out there. I will make legal determinations. I will give you legal advice. I am grandfathered, grandfathered in through legacy. So are you. All of their legal shit, it's known as legal, but they don't want to put that other part on there that qualifies what legal is, and it's legal fiction. It is, in fact, fiction. No English major will argue with that with you. It is fiction. It must be written down. It is only written down in opinion. And the greater opinion is what gets standing. Period. And they know I will never let any of their opinions ride anymore. I got that case. Case sheet says 93 cases, all of them. Summary judgments. Then that's not a final judgment. And it certainly isn't my grandfather's judgment. You know what I mean? So think about this, folks. Remember, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. God bless you. Have a great day.